Hi, this is Matthew Dodario from Shadow Hunters. I'm here at Tumblr to answer your answer time questions. Let's do this. No one on the set is funny. They're all uh, they're bores, and uh, I don't think I've ever heard a joke from any of them. It's like working with Sam. What was it like? Here's a, here's a question. I know you all saw this trailer for the dancing, but you don't know. You don't know if that's real. You don't know what, what, what any of this is real. You have no idea. So how do you even know that's real, that's really done? And especially what they can do now with special effects, you have no clue if that's real. And if I did do a dancing scene, I would have loved it. It would be fantastic, because it's thrilling. And because it's a new thing to learn, because I don't dance that often except for every week. A Western, it would be wild, crazy. I'd uh, totally be the bad guy, and uh, I'd have like a really sinister looking horse. You'd get, uh, oh man, you get Isaiah and Harry as a duo, riding a, a pair of matching horses also, and they have like matching outfits, and, and they're kind of tough, and they're, they're kind of, you know, they're sexy, they come into town and do, and do sexy cowboy stuff. Uh, oh, I would put M and Alberta together as as some kind of, oh, like a bad, a bad guy, stealing, robbing banks. Um, and maybe there's like a whole old Western style saloon scene. Oh, it'd be great. I wanna watch that. I didn't really create a narrative. I just said things, but give me some time. Oh, get out of here. Get, go. Just get, get, get on, get on out. This is not working out. This is, it's scary. There's uh, stuff happening, people are, people are dying. Uh, there's, there's demons, there's monsters. There's, now there's, there's, there's wraiths flying around. Uh, things don't look so hot. Things are a mess. It's all very, very high energy and lots of emotion being thrown out at the same time. So they're dealing with family issues and personal issues and saving the world all at the same time. And it's been you know over a few months. This is not a good life. Your stress is, is terrible. I, I'm certain you can live a more stress-free life. Just move to the Mediterranean. Yeah, that's for all of them. So, Alec has changed a lot, obviously, since season one, and impressively so. I was concerned that Alec wouldn't grow up and open up and manage to become the emotionally capable and available individual that he is now. But luckily, thanks to Magnus and a very supportive group of friends and, and co-workers and family members. He's obviously doing quite well and we're gonna see a lot more of that as season three comes to a close.